Hello everyone, welcome to another tutorial video. Today I'm going to show you how to change your Mac username. So the name you see when you log into your Mac, I'm going to show you how to change that plus your account name as well. So what you want to do is go ahead and log into your account on your Mac and then the first thing you want to do is just go to the um, top of your screen where you see the Apple logo here and just click on that. And then you want to go to where you see system preferences. Go ahead and click on system preferences. Once we've clicked on system preferences, you want to go down to where you see an icon that says users and groups. Go ahead and click on this option here that says users and groups. And you're gonna see on the left hand side here a list of the current users and the type of user that they are. As you can see here, I have two different users, myself and my wife, and then I can click between the two. All right, but first things first, you need to go down here where you see the lock right here and you just need to click that to unlock it and go ahead and type in your password. Once you have unlocked, you should see that the lock here has been unlocked and now you have access to make changes to all of the users here on this Mac. So what you're going to want to do is just to right click on the user you want to change the name of and then you're going to see an option here that says advanced options. Click on that. Now, this is where I'm going to tell you. You're going to see a warning and you're going to read it just like you see it here on screen. Anything could happen when you're changing a username because what's happening is when you change a username or an account name, there are certain files, some of them could be critical depending on the applications that you use, that are linked to your name under directories and folders and things of that nature. I've changed account names and usernames here on my Mac many times and have never had problems. but there is a chance, it seems to be a fairly high chance that it could cause you problems. So I would recommend that you make a backup of uh, your Mac. Now, if you just bought this Mac, I highly recommend that you don't do any of this. If you bought a Mac from someone third party, they should have wiped the Mac completely and done a factory reset and you get to create your own account from scratch. If you want to know how to do that, you can go to YouTube uh, and search for how to factory reset a Mac, and I'll link a couple of those down below. That's what I would do in that case. But if you still want to change your username and account name, you can see here, you can just click, click into these dialog boxes here, and then you can just start typing in a new name. So whatever you want your new name to be, you just type it in. And there's two, tip, two different things. There is your account name and then your full name. Now, the account name is what shows up lots of times when you're logging in, things like that. And then your full name is going to be with the spaces and the capitalizations and things like that. So you can change both your account and full name here. Once you've changed that, you want to go ahead and click OK. Now you can see, once I hit OK, uh, if we go here, go to Advanced Option, the account name is indeed changed. If you want to change your full name, you can do so by going here and typing in the new full name and going to OK. And that's going to change the name itself as far as like the way it displays. Now. If you've noticed, if we right click on the admin, which is myself, my main user on this Mac and go to advanced options, I can change my full name here, the way it displays, but as far as my account name, the way it tracks, the way it, uh, it stores stuff under the directory, it's grayed out. There is a way around that. Again, just be careful when you're doing this. What you would have to do is log into another admin account. So for me, I would need to log out and log into my wife's account and then my account would come up here under other users and I can just right click on that, go to advanced options and everything here will be available to me and nothing will be grayed out. Again, I would highly recommend that you back up everything before doing this. It is critical that you do that because there isn't a chance that you lose things that are important to you. So I would highly recommend you do that before you uh, go and changing your name. So that's it. That's how you change your username, account name, a display name here on your Mac. If you have any further questions, put those in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if this helped you out. And I will see you guys in the next video.